This week on Buck Commander. One of our favorite places to be, Nebraska. I mean, sadly, t Park kind of is like a junior tombo. I mean, they're like burger and fries. Is he down? I mean, look, here's the deal. You got me and t Far. We are the, the least picky of the group. <laughs> the big shocker, Tombo and t Far kill on the first day. Yeah. Oh. Easy on the shoulder. Oh, which one was it? Of course they're going to tag out on the first day. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that hurts so bad. Well, we rolled into Nebraska late, late last night. Um, wake up to a beautiful snowy morning. We're here a day ahead of everybody. Tombo will be in late tonight in TFAR, but uh, we're gonna get a little scouting, go uh, check the wild game cameras and gather a little intel on what's been shaking the last week. So it's kind of nice, it's quiet, and we get to go see what's really happening out here on the ranch. Grant and I got in a day before rifle season opened just to kind of check things out and make sure everything was in order. It's really just a light work day. We got to go to all our rednecks, make sure we have enough chairs, go pull all the cards. Basically just kind of get everything ready for Rochi. It's a 150 pound cat. That, that looks like a lioness. Dude, that thing gets on your back. Cancel Christmas. Cancel Christmas. When you hunt a place every year, you have kind of the luxury of learning what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. A few years back, Jason was hunting out here in a hay bale, and with the curvature of the land, he couldn't quite see the buck until it came over the hill and uh, had a hard time getting a shot at it. Dropped him. That was a best day. <laughs> so, we fixed that. Moving on up, bring in a redneck. We put a redneck here on a 10 foot tower because even these gentle rolling hills, sometimes we were missing deer that were just right over the edge there. We were gonna just scout, but we pulled the wild game camera down here. This is a spot that a bow shot is definitely possible. Two good shooters on the camera. So we went and bought an archery tag. First evening, no kill, but things are looking super promising. One of our target bucks, Chief, shows up. Unfortunately, he skirts us. These guys are finally growing up and they're checking their weapons. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Who's shooting first? I Take heard that very loud because I got these out there. You need that? that Look at the pads on that one. Right in the hole. All right. I feel like a. Um, yeah, I feel like I just had another child. Like I should be. You know, like, he's proud. Is he down? Is he down? Too far, that's breakfast champions right there. 
and you're gonna run. Uh, uh, you're gonna run poor Benny out of the stand. Uh, Jacob or Jordy. Oh, oh man. There he is right there. There. Oh. Yeah. Well, I can tell you this. I don't dress like this in Florida. See here in Nebraska. They call this snow. You know what we call it in Florida? It's freaking snow, people. The opening morning of Rifle in Nebraska. Kind of cold. Really cold, actually. <laughs> kind of. Uh, but this place is freaking gorgeous. Up here in Bassett. We hunt in the smack in the middle of the rut. I mean, the full on, what you wait all year for rut. Heck, my dorsal glands are flared up too. If, if I had to lay my money on the first deer, it would be Tyler Farr. It's always a good thing when we're here, because that means we're gonna see a lot of deer and we're gonna punch some tags. Seen a lot of deer this morning. We've had several bucks checking us. I ain't never seen anything like this. This is just nuts. This ain't right. I kind of feel bad for the events that are about to take place in the near future. Sitting there waiting on the deer. Stay frosty. Deer better hope it don't walk over towards Tombo. Every deer out here with a fort set of antlers is probably in danger. shots for Mr. Farr so far. Jesus, I don't take the wheel. Oh my God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh. 
Oh. So, Jason, Tombo, Luke. Laney doesn't talk really any crap about me. He's a nice fellow. They can say all they want to. There's a new kid in town. <laughs> Congrats, buddy. What deer is it? Oh, it was, it, I'll tell you what deer it was. It was a big one. Big one. There's several big ones. I said, are you sure this isn't a high fence? <laughs> After we shot him, two more bucks come out. Oh boy. The horns keep increasing every step. Man alive. Look at the body on these deer. I mean, it, it looks like a cape buffalo. <laughs> yeah. He's growing, he's keep growing a little bit on me. He's got good beams, his beams are better than I thought. He's got thick, he's got uh, thick horns. First time uh, in, in Nebraska. Uh, I haven't- First time caller, long time listener. Love the show. First time out here in Nebraska. Then I got some wing dingers, don't yeah, they? Yeah, oh, this is a wing dang doodle for sure. No, this is the first time in Nebraska. And I, we, I've not been here 24 hours. Not even 24 hours. You done punched a hole in something. But, but did we not tell you how, <laughs> how crazy this place is, man? Unbelievable. You one of them Oh, wait. <laughs> Thank you, my man. Betcha. No, man, we saw bucks all morning. <laughs> Had to pass on a. Must be nice. <laughs> Straight gar hole. Well, that's Jordy's fault. That's Jordy for fault for <laughs> passing by right right here. We saw the deer y'all saw. If that counts, I man. But. <laughs> all right. Now it's, now it's on time. Now you, now on you, buddy. Pick, perfect pick. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! That hurts so bad. All right, let's go get the goof troop. Is that, right? is that, much, is that, <laughs> that stuff now. Nice job. Let's do head on that deer, man. Little bodies on these guys, aren't they? Oh, man, I tell you what, they aren't like they are in South Florida. <laughs> you know, in Florida, they're real big. Up here, they're, yeah, they're kind of puny. Dude, that, that body looks like a mule deer. Doesn't it? I ain't never shot a deer with a body that big. I've dated a girl with a body that big. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't. Come on, give me a hug. Don't say Thank you, buddy. No words, just actions. Just hunching. Man, I'm so huh? proud of you, Tyler. I brought you out here. You just, you know. I brought you out here. You just, he's growing up. Man. He's growing up right before our eyes, you know what I'm saying? Like, think I'm ready to fly uh, out, out the nest yet? I mean. We're still, still sending you with Jordan. I mean, you sure. raised me, Grant. You know, I like to thank Grant. He taught me all I know. <laughs> Welcome. I don't know where I'd be. You'd probably still be in Tennessee. I'd probably still be in Tennessee, wounding, wound, wounding deer. Yep. All right, let's go eat some breakfast. How do you always get voted camp cook? Sometimes. Instead of standing around and everybody looking for somebody to step up and do it, and then everybody starts getting hungry and angry, I figure best just to go ahead and get it done. If they don't like it, they can start doing it, right? Breakfast down. Thanks, Langy. Hey, don't worry about the dishes. I'll get them when we get back. We gotta go right now. Bring home the bacon, guys. Let's go, T Far. Y'all got hogs around here? So, since T Far got his, his buck down earlier this morning, he decides he's gonna come guide me. Uh, uh, bell tours. Yeah, let's do those. Yeah, we're, um, we're not off to the strongest of starts. So, we're still getting set up, and guess what? Here comes the legend himself, Ribcage, in fifth gear, hot on a doze trail. So let the bug commander shuffle begin. We gotta get the windows open, get the gun out before we even think about stopping this deer. I mean, he is hooked up. <laughs> and cue the leg cramps. Slows me down a little bit. Dude, no, no, no. Oh, cramping. Oh, 
This is this is the Chinese fire drill, buddy. I mean, this dude's out of here before we even realize what happened. I mean, he is the master of giving us a slip, and that's how you become a legend. We probably should have named him Houdini. That was fun. That was really fun. Yeah. Man, this is so boring out here. I mean, there's no action. But let's fast forward a few minutes. Just a little more. A little, little more. Oh, stop right there. Wait, never mind. Too, too far. Back, back it up, just back it up a little bit more. And right, right there. Okay, good, good. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have another candidate. No. You like him, too far? Yo! Hey! Let me know. You hit him. You hit him. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my little lucky leprechaun. I love, oh, God, I love this place, my man. My mind's blown. I mean, I'm, I'm... gee whiz. Gee willikers. <laughs> gee whiz. Gee whiz. Oh, geez. Easy on the shoulder. Oh, which one was it? <laughs> this one? Hold on a second. Hold on. Fix it up for a second. <laughs> I mean, look, here's the deal. You got me and T-Far. We are the, the, the lesser of the picky people, the least picky of the group. And that's why we're done on the first day. Not sorry. You gotta sign some fiction. Vinny. Boys. This is this is what we do. If you don't think this is a good day, I don't know what to tell you. This is this is uh Nebraska. Congrats, buddy. Ah, thank you, man. I'm glad you were here for it, brother. Great call coming to sit with us. For us. Day one in Nebraska is a wrap. We're just getting started, folks. <laughs> but guess what? The fun's not over. We got more action coming for you next week. Stay tuned.